Okay, well, yeah, he, that's what he needs to do, but you can make those loans and put those applications together. That's fantastic. When someone asked me the other day about, did I have a plan B for being a community banker? I said, I really didn't. I'm just gonna be a banker, and so I went for it. I became a community banker because I love helping people. And, you know, when you see a project start out, and you see that you helped part of that project, it's a great feeling. Our niche is to build people's net worth. And, and doing that, we, we financed from the craziest thing of ostriches to large commercial projects. And so it's what people believe in. When it's important to the city and you get involved from a banker standpoint, that's, that's a fun process for a community bank. Corpus is a big tourism town. There was a lot of local people that got together and started raising money to bring the aquarium to Corpus. And now we have this Texas State Aquarium, which is a $100 million project. We've had now the second expansion, $60 million expansion, and how they help Corpus, and they also provide growth for Corpus, and, but they provide relationships for the bank. The Ryan Sanders baseball came to town to see if there was an interest in baseball in Corpus Christi. We heard about it, and so we jumped on the bandwagon when we said, how can we help? And the next thing you know, we have a nice big baseball stadium in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's the minor league team for the Astros. Having larger businesses in Corpus and then small businesses, that all helps our economic growth. And so the small cakes, we helped that out as a small business loan. And that was a lady who went to start a business and put this little small cakes business in play through an SBA loan and today it's doing fantastic. Our employees bring cupcakes to work all the time. It's just another way to see Corpus Christi grow. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Our people take very good care of our customers and that's the difference between a community bank. It's not just calling on the phone and get transferred from department to department. Our people care and they usually go the extra mile for a customer. And usually it's not for the benefit of the bank, it's for the benefit of the customer. I like to see the new youth coming into the bank I also like to see our older people that have been in the bank for 40 years, 45 years, and how they adapt to change. But you know what's important is how that knowledge from that older banker gets translated to that young millennial. That's fun to watch uh, and see that that transfer of knowledge is happening. So our largest uh, financial institution that's growing in Corpus is a credit union, and it's a non-taxpaying credit union, and it's growing by leaps and bounds, just as it is in all your other communities. And so, I'm so glad that ICBA has taken the challenge of finally let's stop the credit union grab and pushing back and making sure that credit unions, if they're going to play in our space, should be a level playing field. I love what we do and trying to keep that passion is just thinking about what community banks are going to look like in the future. I think looking at ICBA and looking at value bank and what's gonna happen next three to five years, you have fintechs, you have technology challenges, you have regulation challenges, and I think all of those are going to have to be identified and looked at as we go forward. And those are challenges that we'll all handle. There are gonna be rough roads and bumps in the roads, but I think we'll get through them. At the end of the day, I think we'll be a stronger industry. Uh, with ICBA, if we're all pulling the same rope, we'll end up at the better place at the end of the day.